He had become the ridicule of those children. He physically shaved his head at, because spiritually he was what? He was bald. So because he was bald spiritually, he shaved his head physically as a sign of mourning. When a leader or a prophet in Israel is mourning and is in, 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 in sorrow, you do not pile on, you do not ridicule, you do not take advantage, you do not leave him or forsake him because Eli Elisha was at a low point of his ministry. Elisha was at a low point of his life. Elisha needed the children to walk with him and to bless him instead of cursing him and ridiculing him and laughing at him. I can get personal with this. You can see how personal I can make this, but that's not the point. You follow me? Right. It's the principle. Yes. It's the principle of hair replacement. But for some who rebel against authority, there is no hair replacement coming. Elisha knew that Eliyahu was going to heaven, but he did not know how he would depart. He thought he was departing the earth, usually meaning death and being removed. Elisha saw it. Now let's go to 2 Kings. I think this is a repeat here. But 2.23 probably doesn't. 2 Kings 2.3. I don't want to, I think they got the scripture wrong. But anyway, the sons of the prophets, yes. Where Bethel said, do you know that Yahweh takes your master? Yes, verse 3. He got this, they got, we got this verse wrong here. He saw him no more. Okay, when Elisha, when Eliyahu went up, you guys can find it if you know where it is. When Eliyahu went up, can you find that for me? When Eliyahu was taken to the sky? 2.11. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, 2 Kings 2.11. Melachim Bek 2.11. It came to pass as they went on and talked, the two of them, see, there appeared a mere kaval of fire and horses of fire and separated them. And Eliyahu went up by a whirlwind into the what? Shamaim. And Elisha saw it and said, My Abba, my Abba. Notice, he was not his physical father, he was his what? He was his spiritual father. He was bald. He was naked. His head was bald. He was crying out for spiritual authority. He didn't want Eliyahu's position. He wanted to be under his spiritual covering and his spiritual authority. Isn't that what we should all want? To walk humbly with Yahweh and say, Yahweh, yes, I want to walk with you, but I want to walk with the spiritual authority and the spiritual covering that you have put in my life. He could have cried, all right, the cat is gone. Let's celebrate and take over. <laughs> What does he care? He's not dead. He's promoted to heaven. The cat's gone. And when the cat's away, what's going to happen to the mice? Who gone? They will blame on Yama. And look at the look at the look at the attitude the children of Israel ought to have. Not like the children who ridiculed and mocked his baldness and his mourning. But look at verse eleven. They walked on. The horses of fire separated them. He was separated from his spiritual authority. And Eliyahu went up by a whirlwind into the Shamayim. He was promoted. You want to know the truth? What's happened to me? Now, can I personalize this for you? It has been a promotion for me. I really believe that. I believe I've, I've tried to serve Yahweh faithfully now for 11 years. And he's put me in a position where I can enjoy ministry again. I can have some fun. It doesn't have to be a burden. Yeshua said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When it becomes a pain in the toughest, it's not Yahweh anymore. It's you trying to pull the load. Look at verse 12. And Elisha saw it, and he said, my spiritual father, my spiritual father, the Mirkava of Israel, and their horsemen. He saw the chariot and their horsemen. And he saw his spiritual father, Eliyahu Hanavi, no more. He took hold of his own clothes and tore them in pieces. So what was Elisha's reaction when Eliyahu departed? 
Yay! I'm in charge. It's my ministry. Time. He was devastated. He was devastated. He tore his clothes in verse 12 when the chariots, the Mirkava of Israel, came to promote his master to glory. He tore his clothes as a sign of mourning. And after he tore his clothes, he cut his beard, according to Isaiah 15 and 2. And after he cut his beard, he shaved his head, according to Isaiah 15 and 2. Elisha was not bald naturally. He became bald for that occasion. Can I hear a good amen? amen. He was not bald. But for that occasion, he became bold. If one did not show proper mourning, it was an act worthy of death. The Torah shows many situations like that. He had a biblical mourning where he had such awe for the covering on his head that he tore his clothes. He shaved his beard, he cut his hair, and the reaction of the people of Israel was to love him, to pray for him, to support him. No, the children mocked him, they ridiculed him, they kicked him when he was down. So who, whose example should we emanate? The children or Elisha? Whose example should we emanate? The children or Elisha? My Abba. What does the Ten Commandments say, Daryl? Honor your father and mother, that your days may be lengthened upon the earth. The Yahweh. That's not just physical parents, that's also spiritual parents. I learned a long time ago. Forget about what happened in our congregation. Forget about that. I learned a long time ago, not even to mention names when I'm criticizing God. The holy laughter, the stuff that's going on up now in Florida. With the, I don't even want to get into that, okay? Yes. I don't mention names. I think I do not mention, I attack doctrines and I attack positions. I don't want to get, because what happens if I'm making a mistake and I'm dropping a name and putting a name in some kind of thing that I shouldn't be using that name? I don't want to be responsible for that. I don't want to mention names. I'll warn you about a doctrine. But I, don't want to, I don't want to get into the name thing. We see, and we don't have to turn there for the sake of time, we don't have to turn there. In Bedeshi 34:37, Yaakov tore his clothes. If you're taking notes, Bedeshi 34:37, Yaakov tore his clothes and put sackcloth on, and mourned many days for Yosef when he thought Yosef was dead. In Israel, the sign of mourning is the tearing of the clothes, the shaving of the beard, and the shaving of the head. Let me ask you a question. No hair replacement for some. How about Elisha? Do you think he was a candidate for hair replacement? Absolutely. Because he didn't throw off his authority. He what? He mourned the loss of his spiritual authority. So was he a candidate for hair replacement? Absolutely. Yahweh was going to replace his, his hair, either by giving him another spiritual covering or giving him a double portion of Elijah's anointing. And oh, come on, somebody. Come on. And covering him and covering his baldness with a double portion of hair replacement. So was e Elisha a candidate for hair replacement? You bet your toupee he was. Come on, children, you're so silent in the storefront. You're getting me worried, man. He was a candidate for hair replacement, if there ever was one because he honored his Abba, his spiritual authority. Baruch Hashem. And that's what makes a Proverbs 31 woman, by the way. A Proverbs 31 woman is someone who honors, may not always agree with their spiritual authority, but aligns herself with his authority, making her a Proverbs 31 woman. And here we go to Amen. Now, another side note. We see, we just read Elisha in verse 11. 
doing what? I'm sorry, verse 12. Melachim Bet 2.12, what? Tearing his clothes into what? Two pieces. What does Korach mean, Choshi? Ball. What, uh, what, what is the Hebrew word for removing or tearing? Ready? Korach. Or Karia. Literally, Karia, from where we get the root Korach, comes from Karia. So the word for tearing or removing the garment by tearing clothing or hair by cutting off through violent expression, exactly what Elisha did, he mourned when the children started mocking him, which is why he cursed them in the name of Yahweh. It was an act of grief, and they were mocking him in the act of grief. The moral of the story is, do not mock the servants of Yahweh when they are grief stricken straight because Yahweh listens to his servants at all times. In normal times, how much more when his servants are in deep sorrow. I'm sorry, Raina, try to get there. So that the removal of hair is called what? Korah. The removal of clothing is called what? Karia. It is a sign of mourning so that there are two times to be bald before Yahweh. Right? There are two times to be bold. One is when you are in mourning. Is that kosher? That's kosher. And that's Hebraic. To be bald before Yah. What is not kosher and what is not Hebraic is when we what? We what? We make ourselves bald but to throw off the authority as opposed to what? To have grief over authority that has fallen or that has gone sidetracked, or that has fallen by the wayside. Can I hear a good amen? And so, let's get back to that, to this, as we close. There are some in Israel who are not candidates for hair replacement. Why? Because they have made themselves bald, Korah, they have kariah, and violently removed the authority, even through violent words and violent actions, that Yahweh has put in their life. Those people are not candidates for hair replacement. Amen. But the ones who mourn in grief over the adversities and the trials and the tribulations that have come upon their chosen leaders, when the mourning is over, when the crying is over, when the lamenting is over, they can go back to Yahweh because their hearts were right and they'll have a renewal of a covering a renewal of spiritual authority, and those people will be candidates for hair replacement. Amen. Amen. You enjoy? Amen. But isn't it amazing how baldness and violent tearing is the same word? Kariya, Kariya, and Korah. And by the way, even in Zechariah 12.10, when it speaks of Yeshua being pierced, the word is dacharu, which is the same root from the same root word, kariya, meaning he was ripped or his flesh was torn for our sins. So these are all play on the root word. Amen. 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 Brother Bruno.